this is literally the first time ever that we've both been single at the same time yeah it's crazy you've literally i don't know it's <laughs> we're we literally honestly though okay <laughs> this is a lot to, to talk about <laughs> But I was literally in a relationship like entire teenage years. Yeah, those are formative years. The person that I was when I was like in a relationship too, the fact that I was so young and I was in a relationship with another human being, the fact that you that was your whole entire high school experience almost. Even and, college experience. Yeah. That's depressing. The, yeah. I did not do shit when I was in relationships because I was like, I'm going to be the respectful girlfriend. I'm not going to go out. It's Which, depressing. like, that's not... If you were to get into another relationship, like, you have to, like, allow yourself to go out and have fun. There's, like, a good balance. I feel like there is that respect aspect yeah. to it. But, like, I feel like you should also be able to go out and get drinks with the girls. Also so young where I was like, fuck that. I don't want him to be going out. Which yeah. is fucked up. That's why you shouldn't be in a relationship when you're that when young. When you're that young. I shouldn't have been in a relationship. The stuff that I was doing, the stuff that I was... I mean, your relationship was honestly... So toxic. So toxic. Toxic. You've never been in like a really toxic toxic relationship, but then also your relationship with I feel it. Oh, sorry. I want to say names, the names. <laughs> Oh, I want to talk about how like after being in like a long-term relationship like starting to talk to new guys Oh, yeah, and like snapchatting new guys. It's like literally hell. It's the worst thing. I don't really understand the point of snapchat. You just got a snapchat from too. Isn't that weird? Right when we right started when talking, talking about, about it. it. I thought you were going to say the other one and I was like uh. <laughs> whenever I double snaps you I'm like I did that shit. I hate talking to guys. You don't know the rules of snapchat though. Oh she had to explain Not me the rules. Not that there are rules like unspoken rules. Explain like, the rules. Don't leave someone on red unless you literally <laughs> want their attention and she'll just leave these boys on red for six hours well here's the thing it's not intentional and i always end up snapchatting them back like at this point it's like oh you know they how know i your snapchat style <laughs> but the thing is when somebody snaps me i like get excited i'm like oh i want to see it right away so i don't know if it's like an add thing where it's like i want to see what they're saying to me right away no. that i would just never apply you don't always have to look amazed no i know and i don't think that i get now it was done to me i was like oh yeah there's like guidelines and like unspoken rules the fact that you didn't know the rules is just so weird to me. I'm like, you should know. I'm to do small talk with guys. Small talk sucks. Like, I even hate Snapchat. I'm not snapping any guys right now. What's the point of, like, keeping in touch with people when, like, you're not even really going to talk and then when you do talk, it's about nothing? Snapchat is stupid as fuck. I'm so old to be using, a, like, taking pictures of myself and sending it oh, back and forth to men. If a guy I asks me for my Snapchat instead of my phone number. Yeah. I don't like that shit. Like of men have become so feminine lately. What the fuck am I doing chasing you? No. Be a man, grow some balls, and fucking chase me. No, literally. I'm I also think about the fact that it's like the microplastics in water bottles. Dead serious. Yeah. Testosterone levels are depleting. Oh, um, and we can tell. It's evident. A really annoying thing guys do is they ask you on dates but never go through with them. Yeah. And I think that's a feminine thing. That's because of Snapchat too. Because you're always in contact with these guys. Even with like hooking up with guys. Like just kissing, you know what I mean? Like, like why are you still in contact with someone? Like if you're not going to make an effort. That's why I feel like hookup culture is so popular right now because of it's like. It's low effort. Be Snapchat keeps you in low effort. I feel like back then you would hook up like you wouldn't be in this situation with them. Just wouldn't be talking to them like texting them You know constantly because I feel like that's way too much effort compared to like snapchat Where it's just like you can just take a picture and you don't have to have a conversation. That's why I hate it Why do you want to stay in contact with me? You either want to hang out with me or you don't like why do you want to do this weird in between? Like I just don't get it it's so fucking stupid. I don't That's get it. I like don't even know what the fuck I'm doing in life. Dead ass. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so scary. So we're terrified. What the fuck am I doing like, with my life? what's the point of life? What's the point? What is we the We don't point? know. If you know, let us let know. Let us know. But I don't want a Jesus person in the comments to be like, follow Jesus and you'll find the way. Okay, yes, I believe that. I love Jesus. Love but shut Jesus. the fuck up. Like, give it a rest. Like, gotta be more to life than loving Jesus, which like, yes, I get like, that's important, but like, more. Oh, well, there definitely is you more. You have to have a purpose. Like, you have to have like, a point. No, I get it. And when people are like, mm -hmm. love is the answer. Like, shut the fuck up. Obviously, love is the answer, but <laughs> Wait, what is the it? fuck more? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, like, love everything. <laughs> Easy for people to say that when they love their lives. Exactly. <laughs> I honestly, I'm so jealous of stupid people though. There are actually yeah. people that go through life and they don't question shit. Yeah, like just like this complete ignorance. Are well, we overthinking it? I don't think that I'm like, I'm smarter than everyone at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they like don't question the meaning of life. Like I'm holding on to a string. Like I'm hold holding oh, on yeah. by holding on by a string. No, I'm holding on by what's even thinner than a string. I don't even know what's thinner than a string. Literal <laughs> molecule. <fucking> molecule. <laughs> One mole molecule away from. Okay, what else are we talking about? <laughs> um. Ooh. I want to talk about our Florida trip and how it was like a pivotal, pivotal, pivotal. pivotal. <laughs> this Florida trip was literally like our realization moment. It was this our was realization. Our... I think it just made us realize like how how much we need to get the fuck out of our small town. Like if small we... towns are probably comparable to hell. How do people stay here? People are settling down here. It's a cycle too. Find someone in your small town, you get married, you have babies. Cycle, 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 cycle. If there is even a small inkling yearning of your soul that just wants to get out of here, then go. You don't want to be yeah. 35 years old, yeah. stuck in your small town, living in like a house that you bought, you have like a mortgage. Cycle. Cycle People really waiting until they retire to do things they want to do in life sounds a lot like depression <laughs> Yeah, oh social media social media. We got to delete right now <laughs> <laughs> Girl, <laughs> no. That's a baby. Like, maybe We got a limit. Oh, if I'm in a depressive mood, I'm like, what did I do today? I went Scroll on my phone on first TikTok. thing in the morning. I ate like shit. I went for like a walk for like what an hour hour-long walk like what did you do that was productive be honest productive. i don't do anything productive honestly all we had to do was get it rolling get it now I'm rolling like, okay high school say, boyfriend cheated on us with the same girls <laughs> that's so spicy though to be continued <laughs> i know nothing phases me like it's men like when girls tell me stories about like their boyfriend did this to them and they cheat on them oh shocker you know what, what a surprise boys are just stupid now I was, they don't pursue they don't pursue because they're Lazy. Feminine. And they just are trying to get their wet. Yeah. That's that's it. <laughs> I saw a TikTok. It was a girl talking about how she can't do like hookup culture because she did it once. Said that the guy made her feel like she was like a piece of meat. It's literally so dehumanizing. No. Oh, I didn't. And someone commented on it. It was like, I can't do it because the way that guys look at me when I'm hooking up with them, it makes me feel like I'm just an yeah. object. Like I'm just there for their pleasure. pleasure. Like I don't get it. You're in love with someone. That experience is so different. Soul connection. And it's yeah. so beautiful. Like humans are not made for for hookup culture. Not like shaming girls in any way for like actively being a part of it. I feel like an object. Why do you want to like share your body with so many people? You know what I mean? Yeah, cause like honestly, like once you look at yourself like this like person that's like so much more than letting someone have access to you whenever they want that. Like no, if literally. that's all you're gonna see me as, then get the fuck out of here. I was talking about zodiac signs and I was just like flirting with this guy back and forth and he was like straight out of the book, typical girl. Guys take the zodiac thing so far. It's literally just an icebreaker yeah that's it's what I just said. a fucking icebreaker yeah. guys are get angry they're like oh you're one of those it's yeah. just like shut it's a fucking icebreaker let like, me just talk to you and like flirt along with me like some guys are just so annoying about this so that's like literally red flag turn off ask a guy their zodiac sign and they get angry red flag they have anger issues like why are you getting angry over a simple question truth i just don't understand guys already how do you not want something more and it's like if you don't like that's completely fine but just like leave girls alone especially yeah. if you know that like a girl's under the impression like they want something more don't do that to yeah. them then just like leave her alone i don't believe in post nut clarity i think guys know exactly how they feel i feel like it's just an excuse for them to be like post nut clarity At the end of the day you know how you feel about someone before you do that with them no, no? i think post nut clarity is so I don't know. I see both sides. Not like supporting post nut clarity, but the chase of the person and then getting it, it's more of a chase thing. Yeah. Because even I get that way There's back a, and forth. Yeah, it's more attractive when it's like a push pull game. I'm not going to lie. I love the game and I love mixed signals. So fucked up. And that's not right and that's toxic. What point? You just like fuck the games. I want you. With my last relationship, it was like that. Straight up, like, I like you off the bat. Which I love, but now I'm, like, single. Like, experiencing the push and pull for, like, really the first time. I get the appeal, but yeah. it is exhausting. Yeah. If I really end up liking someone, at some point, the games have to, like, mm -hmm. end. 
having a crush your mind just happier yeah we into sizing life a little bit like you just like get to like think about them also our single girl era wanna let i don't want to crush it. no boy i want like this to be our independent single girl era where like, it's just hot like, girl no walks we're getting our shit together yeah, focusing on ourselves and finally living life for like only us. yeah or like when yeah. i say me us just trying all these different yeah. things out that you've wanted to try out when you're not putting your energy in a guy you can put your energy into and all these so things that you wanted to try exactly yeah. chase your dream life you're in your 20s this is the time where you like start <laughs> all these like things that you've always wanted to try yeah yeah <laughs> you gotta do it uh.